What's up you guys? Hey, thanks for watching this video and I got a new camera. I don't know if you can see, you can tell. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I got this 360 cam and so I'm going to shoot some stuff with it. It may suck, I don't, I don't really know yet. Anyway, so this video I wanted to talk about, I got to ask the question, should I take a gap year after uh, college before med school? That's a really good question. Um, my so there it it's de it depends, right? It's gonna depend on what you want. Um, personally, I did. I finished med school. I mean, I'm sorry. I finished college, and then I went and took a uh, MCAT course, and then took the MCAT, and then so I was like a year behind, right? So then I had a gap year and stuff. Um, so that was okay. But, and, okay, and so there's that, you can do that, or you can, you know, you get into med school, maybe you apply, like, in your third or fourth year, and you get into med school, and you want to take a year, and you say, you want to take a year off, and you say, let me go into the, you know, the following year, and some, some medical schools will let you do that, so others won't. Um, and then the, the other option is to go right through and never take any gaps and just hammer it home and then get done as soon as possible. So here's the thing with that. Um, if you go straight through and never take any breaks, you may really hate yourself later because, um, or you may not, <laughs> because if you go straight through, then you'll be like um, 20... Six when you finish, right? Med school? No, is that right? Uh, yeah, 26. 26, and then you do residency, and that puts you about 29 if you're doing internal medicine. Uh, and then, you know, if it's a sur if it's surgery, it's 32 plus. So then, you fucked your 20s, right? Right there, you took the 20s, and you're like, fuck you, 20s, I'm out of here. Um, so you don't really have a lot of social time, growing up, um, enjoyment uh, of your friends and other things in your 20s if you do that. So some people do that and they do fine. They don't give a shit and they're not very social. They don't care and they just want to you know, go to school and that's their deal and they have a great time doing it and they crush it and then they're done early or on time I guess you'd say. Um, and that and that's fine. If that's you, then do that. Um, uh, it's not my situation. I'm a very social person. I like to have fun. I don't want to miss out on shit. If you have FOMO, you're going to be fucking pissed that you're missing out all the, all the time because you're going to be studying and all your friends are going to be having a great time. Your friends are going to be like, I got a job. I got money. I got a car. I got a new car. I got a house. I'm having a great time. I'm not drinking and, and eating fancy food and shit. And there you are with fucking Top Ramen and you're you know, textbooks and shit at home. So it's difficult to do that. You won't really want to get yourself around people that are doing the same thing that you are because uh, otherwise you will hate your friends. You'll hate yourself more. You'd be like self-loathing, you know? Um, so for me, it wasn't, I really had a difficult time. And actually I took a little more than one year off. And I graduated when I was 35 instead of 32. So I ended up taking about three years to, um, over, over the years with college and med school and everything and uh, the breaks and then residency. Uh, I took, I did a, I did a research year during residency. So anyways, I ended up being like three years behind, which is okay, but not, you know, not terrible. I wasn't, I wasn't 45 or 50 when I finished, but still a little bit behind. Uh, but the problem with that is that if you if you go right through, you start making money, right? And so you start making money at 29 or 32, depending. And if you start making real money, you're talking about over 100 grand a year. You're talking about 200 grand a year, 300 grand a year sometimes, right? So if you take those three years off like I did and you make 300 or 350 or 400 or 250 even, then those three years cost you $750,000. So is the question is that when you're 20 or 22, is that year worth 250 grand? And it's not 250 grand because it's like, well, it's sort of, it's, it's a little bit more because if you 
you know, the in, I guess the interest, you can count the interest and all that stuff if you make the money. And so that's the real catch is that that every year you spend outside um, of medicine, not going on the direct path, costs you a lot of money. Like minimum two fifty, right? Because most, well, I mean, some doctors don't make that much, but most doctors you could talk about like 250 and then the other thing is later because when you as you uh get experience you'll make more and if you're you know an employer or if you're an employee position you'll make more you know later so you're delaying that increasing your income and then if you're going into private practice you know you have a startup uh phase and so you're delaying that when you start from when you start to actually when you start making uh, uh, good money is what I like to call it good money so that's the conundrum and it's totally up to you um, I didn't even didn't even cross my fucking mind that I was losing that much money every year um, and if you're gonna be an orthopedic surgeon or neurosurgeon 600 grand 800 grand a year maybe you're losing, so that's times three. In neurosurgeons, that's 2.4 mil if you've given up. If you're a neurosurgeon, if you want to take two to three years, uh, three years off. So that's uh, that's it. I thought that was a, that's a pretty good video actually. Um, let me know what you guys think of my new camera. I I kind of like it. I it might replace the GoPro. Only thing is, I don't have any uh, mic for this thing, so the, the sound may suck. We're about to find out. Anyway, hey, thank you guys for watching these videos. I'm having a good time. This is good shit. I love it. Uh, <laughs> share, like, subscribe, comment, especially comment. I love you guys' comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.